Welcome back everyone, Tina here. And in this video today, I'm very excited to share with you that we have now implemented a workflow AI assistant inside of automations. Why is that helpful? Well, maybe you have many different workflows going in your company and maybe let's say somebody new is filling a position. Let's say that person's job is to increase conversion inside of your funnels and workflows. Therefore, that person has to reach through all your emails and actions that are happening. So the Workflow AI Assistant can now help analyze an entire workflow. It can also suggest to you what kind of actions to use next in order to build workflow according to your outcome goal. Let me show you how you can use this. Okie dokes, let's click on marketing on the left, workflows at the top, click create new workflow or select the one in question. We will select this one and ta-da, here in the bottom left, you can see that little purple bubble. Click on that and you'll see this window popping up. Okay, so you will see the name Workflow AI. It basically explains everything to you. Hey, I am an AI and I can help you with creating automation, understanding existing workflows and much more. So you have two options to choose from first. You can ask it, hey, describe this current workflow. If there would be many different actions and it would be a very complicated workflow with thousands or hundreds of steps, even or even a few, you just want to get a grasp of how does this actually work. Then you would choose describe this workflow. If you're starting out from scratch, you can just click assist with building a workflow. So then you would then just tell the bot, hey, for example, my goal is to create a calendar reminder sequence. Okay, then it would give you the steps on how to do so. Now let's start with the first one. Since there are not many actions happening or basically none right now, it will still give you an explanation. So if you're building your first workflow, you may want to click on that to describe this workflow. Now here you can see the bot analyzed your workflow and here's an explanation of the current workflow. This workflow is called Workflow AI Assistant. It is in draft status, which you can see top right. It's in draft, not in publish. Then it says also it's set to version three and allows multiple entries. You would find that information here under settings. You can see allow multiple entries. That means a person who comes into your workflow twice will receive that workflow notification, emails, SMS, and so on and so forth twice. Okay. If you don't want them to go through the workflow again after they've been through once, you just turn this off. Okay. Now back to the AI assistant. It also tells you the time zone, which is based on the account time zone settings, which you can also see under settings here. You scroll down, you can see the time zone account time zone. Okay. So that is all the information the bot can give to you right now because it's empty currently, right? So now you have two options. You can either click on this icon here and close the chat, or you could also download the chat by clicking the export button here. It would then download the file in a txt file. Let's open that. And here you can see this is how the export would look like. Nice. Now, in this case, let's just close it and then let's choose assist with building another workflow. Now here it will give you suggestions to ask. You can either select one of those suggestions, say what is a trigger or what is an action, because those are those two components only that you need to build a successful workflow, right? Or you can just simply type your own message. For now, let's just select what is a trigger. Then it explains to you what is a trigger, that it is an event that starts or initiates a workflow automation. This little blue box right here, okay? If you click on it, on the right-hand side, you can see all the different triggers we have that can initiate this workflow, okay? And that's exactly what the bot explained to you. And it also gives you an example. Hey, for example, a trigger could be when a new contact is added to a list, a form is submitted, or a specific date and time is reached. That is a very common trigger for a very common workflow. Hey, somebody submits a contact form on our website, then notify our staff, send a thank you email, and so on and so forth. Scrolling further down, according to your question, hey, what is a trigger? It will also suggest the actions to add. So an action is the thing that happens after a trigger. You can click the plus sign here and you can send emails, SMS, WhatsApp messages, or do anything else really after the initial trigger has been triggered, okay? So here you can directly select the most common actions. So let's select SMS, for example, just click that plus sign and you can see the plus sign starts to shine right here. Click on it because that means you're dropping the action there and automatically the SMS field on the right pops up already, which means you don't need to select it anymore. So let me just cancel this out real quick and show you. Typically you would click the plus sign then you would go into the search, but then you would type SMS and then you would select the SMS action, right? But like this, you would just click on the plus sign, the little plus start shining, click on it, and it automatically opens up the SMS action. Okay, so type some message, hit save action. Perfect. And this is what you could do with all of the suggestions right here. You could click plus add a contact tag. Amazing, do the same thing, hit the plus sign. 
select your tag and hit save action. Yeah, you get the point. Then down here, to continue the conversation basically with Workflow AI, it suggests different questions, what you could potentially ask next. Now, if you're not quite sure about actions in a workflow, you could just ask, can you explain actions in a workflow? Click that. Here on the right, you can see again the question. And here's the explanation what actions are, right? Then further down, it keeps suggesting different action steps, which you could then again add to the workflow. Now, if you liked this reply from AI, you can also decide, hey, do I want to give this a thumbs up? Did this answer my question? If yes, click the thumbs up. If no, click the thumbs down. Please do that because it will help us to learn if the bot does a good job or not. So let's click thumbs up. And then the bot says, thank you and asks you, hey, is there anything else I can help you with? So now let's actually ask for a specific workflow. Let me just delete these actions real quick. And let's say we would like to build a workflow for appointment confirmation reminders, right? How to build workflow for appointments could be something a client would be asking, right? Hit enter. And here comes the entire explanation how you would set this up. To build a workflow for handling appointments, you can use the following step. Step one, choose a trigger, okay? The first step, the trigger step right here. Use the trigger customer booked appointment or appointment status. Trigger to run the workflow whenever there is an update to any appointment status. Amazing, right? So now you have to think about, do I want to do it when customer books an appointment initially or if there's a change in appointment statuses? Then it talks about the actions. Send a confirmation by email or SMS or even WhatsApp would be possible, right? Then send an internal notification to your team to notify them, hey, somebody booked an appointment. Or update the appointment status action in order to update the appointment to confirm, rescheduled, and so on and so forth. Then it also comes up with optional additional actions. Add or update a contact, add nods to the appointment or appointment reminders, enter a wait step or an internal notification, again SMS, and so on and so forth. Number four, add a logical condition, which means an if-else condition, right? And lastly, finalize and test. It reminds you to review the workflow to ensure all actions and conditions are set correctly. And this, I can't stress enough, anything that you said to public, you want to have checked before several times yourself. Add yourself to the test workflow button top right corner and then add yourself to the contact and run a test, okay? Make sure all your links are working. There's no typos, all of that kind of stuff. A little outro here, very cute, and that's it. And then it suggests again, hey, here are the actions that you could use to build the workflow you've just asked for. And down here, you can see the suggested questions. They are now very tailored to the question we've asked, which was how to build an appointment workflow, right? So what are the best practices for a reminder work in workflows? Let's click that. And then it comes up with an entire plan. What are the best practices when it comes to an appointment workflow? It's incredible. What are common mistakes to avoid in appointment workflows? So I don't want to click the thumbs down now just to show you because I'm actually very happy with what came out here. So I don't want to train the bot the wrong way. So we're all happy. We just click, hey, that was good. Now let's actually add some of these actions and triggers so that I can show you the investigation of the workflow again. Let's add an SMS here. Let's add some text, hit save action. Let's add a wait step for one hour. Okay, let's send an email. Let's add an internal notification. Let's say notification, book the call. Okay, message could be something else. Or again, you can then add the time zone, the links, the name, custom values, custom fields, all that. Hit save action. Let's publish it. Let's hit save. No, you don't actually need to publish and save it for it to be analyzed and investigated, but we just did anyway. So now let's say we're going to close this chat and we're going to click describe this workflow. Certainly, here's a simple breakdown of your current workflow. SMS message. As soon as someone books a call, they receive an SMS saying, thank you for your booking. It even pulled the text I put into the SMS. Then, yep. The workflow pauses for an hour after sending the SMS. Very clear and straightforward. Email. After the one hour wait, an email is sent to the person. The email subject is email with a simple message. Okay. And it explains the internal notification as well. Now let's ask it, how can we make this better? To enhance this workflow, consider the following improvements. Personalized message, because it wasn't happy with my text right here, right? Hey, thank you for your booking. Nobody would speak like that anyway, but so it's good that it tells me, hey, put some more effort into your copy. <laughs> Customize your email, same thing, right? Additional touch points. You might add another follow-up email or SMS closer to the appointment time to remind the person to provide any necessary materials or instructions. Amazing. Customize internal notifications as well. Tagging and segmentation, really good. User feedback after the call, send a request for feedback or a survey to improve your services. Great. That's really cool. Awesome. So there's that. 
Now you may have noticed down here, it says 20 out of 30 credits remaining. Credits will reset in a day. That means you have every day, you have 30 credits inside of your location, inside of your account. And one question or one action basically means one credit gets deducted. Now, if you wanted to have unlimited credits, that's absolutely possible. In order to achieve that, in order to get those unlimited credits, you would need to have a subscription to our new AI employee. What is the AI employee? The AI employee provides access to content AI, reviews AI, voice AI, in case you didn't know, we have now AI agents that replicate a voice, as well as the usual conversation AI that's been going already for a while. In order to access this, you would need to click on reputation on the left, click on settings at the top, and here under review AI, you can see a button upgrade to unlimited AI employee. You would just click that and follow the wizard to get onboarded there. So if you subscribe to the AI employee, you get unlimited credits for all of these features. You can create unlimited content, unlimited blog posts, for example. You can create unlimited images. You get unlimited voice messages. You get unlimited conversation AI messages. You know, when you have a little chat bubble on your website, for example, and you set the intent to, hey, help the customer book a call, then these messages are unlimited. There's no credit going from your rebilling. And also unlimited review replies. You may also be wondering if the Workflow AI Assistant is available for everyone. So that depends if your subscription includes the feature workflows, then yes, you will have access to Workflow AI, including 30 credits every single day for free. Well, that's it already. This is how the Workflow AI can help you take the guesswork out of these workflows and help you work much faster and much more efficient on a daily basis. I hope you like this new feature and I will see you in the next video.